If you are viewing this film, it is likely you have been referred by your GP or specialist to the Royal Free Hospital for screening of Fabry disease. This short video aims to guide you on what to expect. In this film, we will explain what is involved in the screening process. We will explain what Fabry disease is and what the next step will be if you test positive. But first, what is Fabry disease? Leading Fabry specialist Dr. Derilyn Hughes explains. Fabry disease is a lysosomal storage disorder which results from an enzyme being missing in the body. And because of that, there's accumulation of a degraded material that would normally be broken down or recycled. It can accumulate in any cell or organ in the body and therefore can cause problems for people in various different ways. Well, it took a long while to diagnose. Um, I was ill for a good few years. Um, after my second child in 2008, I had a stroke. So they'd done loads and loads of tests. Um, in the end, it came back as the Fabrice, um, which was a bit daunting at first. I didn't know what this was. I never, ever, ever heard of it. I collapsed out of my car in October 2011. I had quite a few MRIs and ECG tests. Um, and then over a nine month period, it was still going on and nobody could come up with any answers. Um, then I also all of a sudden got called back um, to have some more blood tests because they found something abnormal in the blood test. And uh, they th said, we think we know what you've got, but we need to be 100% sure. Patients with Fabry disease may experience a whole range of signs and symptoms of the condition. At an early age, they may develop pains in their hands and feet. This can be burning, stinging pain that comes on especially when they're hot or anxious about something. They can have reduction in sweating, which can cause overheating and problems with exercise. They can also have a rash, which may be particularly around the mouth and the umbilicus. As time goes on, they develop problems with their gastrointestinal tract or bowels, resulting in diarrhoea, constipation, bloating and lack of appetite. And later in life, they may develop enlargement of the heart, problems with the brain such as stroke and problems with the kidney which could eventually lead to renal failure. However, not all patients experience all of the problems. Some may be mild and only have one problem and others may have multiple difficulties. If you have been referred to the Royal Free Hospital for screening of Fabry, you will be invited to our specialist lysosomal storage disorder unit. When you attend our unit for screening for Fabry disease, you'll have a conversation with one of the physicians in order to explain to you some of the features of Fabry disease and to hear from you some of the problems that you may have had, uh, both in your family and individually, which could relate to this condition. We'll give you information about the implications of testing, and if you decide to go ahead with the test, then we'll perform the blood test for you that day. The blood test will confirm whether you have Fabry disease. A sample will be taken to a lab, where it will be screened by measuring the activity of a specific protein in the blood, and also by looking at changes in your DNA. You will be asked specifically for consent for your DNA to be tested, and your DNA will only be kept on our files while we are testing for Fabry. Fabry disease is what's known as an X-linked condition. This means that it's inherited on the X chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes, whereas males have an X and a Y, and it's the Y that makes them male. This means that any males who have the abnormal X chromosome, if they have boys as sons, then the son will inherit the Y chromosome and will therefore not be affected, but any girls will inherit the abnormal X chromosome and therefore will inherit the condition. On the other hand, females have two X chromosomes and one of them will be normal and one of them will be abnormal. In any cell in the body, it may be the normal or the abnormal one which is active and therefore on balance, females will have some active normal chromosomes and therefore will be milder, less severely affected than males. It also means that when they have children, there's a 50-50 chance that any sons or daughters could have the condition. 
the results for the testing for Fabry disease can take up to four weeks. When we've received them, we'll write to you and explain what the test means, and if they're positive, we'll invite you to come back for organ assessments to see whether it's appropriate to go ahead with therapy.